In this video, we will explain how to properly reconstitute and store your sample from Synaptic Systems. Upon receipt of your order, take care to store the products appropriately. Different products have different storage condition requirements. Fluorescence labeled antibodies should be reconstituted immediately upon receipt. Control peptides should be kept at negative 20 degrees Celsius before reconstitution. Unlabeled antibodies, biotin labeled antibodies, and control proteins should be stored at 4 degrees Celsius before reconstitution. All our products are lyophilized in PBS. To reconstitute the antibody in PBS, carefully remove the lid and add the amount of deionized water given in the respective data sheet. Consult the data sheet, and if there is not already a stabilizing carrier protein in the product, please add a stabilizing carrier protein, such as BSA, to a final concentration of 2%. Briefly vortex the solution and confirm that the sample has been completely reconstituted. Then, if desired, spin down the liquid by centrifugation. This can be done using a 50 milliliter centrifugation tube with a tissue in the bottom to aid in a smooth removal of the sample. Consult the data sheet, and if there is not already a zide in the sample, you can optionally add a small amount of azide or thimerosal to the sample to prevent microbial growth. This is especially recommended if you want to keep an aliquot at 4 degrees Celsius. After reconstitution, you may optionally add a 1 to 1 volume to volume ratio of glycerol to a final concentration of 50%. This lowers the freezing point of your stock and keeps the product in a liquid state at negative 20 degrees Celsius to avoid freeze-thaw cycles. Aliquot the product. Avoid aliquots below 20 microliters and use the smallest storage vial or tube possible. The smaller the aliquot, the more the stock concentration is affected by evaporation and absorption of the antibody to the surface of the storage vial or tube. Absorption of the antibody to the surface leads to a substantial loss of activity. Store the product at negative 20 degrees Celsius if it contains glycerol or at negative 80 degrees Celsius without glycerol. The storage freezer must not be of the frost-free variety, such as a no-frost freezer. This cycle between freezing and thawing, which reduces frost buildup, is exactly what should be avoided. For the same reason, antibody vials should be placed in an area of the freezer that has minimal temperature fluctuations, for instance, towards the back of the freezer, rather than on a door shelf. 